Uh, do, do you know anyone looking to, to have more flexibility in their life? Do you know anyone looking to get some extra time? Do you know anyone that wants to supplement their income on the side of what they're currently doing? However you talk, however you share with your friends, do that, but remember to pique the interest first. A lot of times when I get on a three-way call, I sometimes have to repeat that person's interest again, so it lowers their shield, so I have permission to share my experience with them. Okay, and so you're gonna learn this over time. Peaking the interest is a big, big step. Every single time I go to a marketplace, someone says, you know, comes up and they're a little frustrated. I've talked to everybody, everybody, I've talked to everybody. Everybody, really, everybody? Like how many? Well, everybody. Well, give me a number. So I did this last time in Nashville, Tennessee, and the lady said, well, 60, I talked to 60 people. Okay, 60 people, good, good number. How many people have seen the website heard a conference call, read the magazine, tried the product out of those 60, and the number drops to a staggering like 15. I said, okay, miss, how many customers do you have out of the 15? The grand partner. She said, I have one grand partner and three customers. That's a pretty good ratio. Three customers, a grand partner out of 15 people that actually saw the information. So she's getting frustrated because she told everybody, but only 15 people actually saw it. So again, what does that mean? You have to let people see the information for themselves. They have to experience it. They have to laugh at it. They have to read it. They have to cry. Whatever it is, they have to experience it just like you would experience a movie or a restaurant or a book. Let them, you owe it to them to do that. So you just have to get yourself out of the way. The other day I was following up with a prospect that I had in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He's a real estate agent, really neat guy, bilingual, shot him the magazine, shot him the two products for him and his girlfriend to try for seven days. I'll be in Albuquerque at the end of this month. And so, you know, I was following up with him, and he was asking some questions. So what did I do? I got him on a three-way call. Three-way call answered those questions. Now I got to follow up with him next week again. But where I'm going with that, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but you have to pique someone's interest. So even on this guy, Alexander, I said, hey man, look to make some extra, extra income. Look to make some residual income. I come to Albuquerque every month, or you know, whatever, every couple weeks. And he's like, um, yeah man, what do you got? I'm like, listen, what's your, what's, your, what's your address? I'll shoot it to you right now. Do you like to read something or do you like to watch something? So we're always asking questions, and that was one of the questions. Do you like, would you rather read something about our company or rather watch something? Because you never know. Some people are more auditory, they need to hear it. Some people are more visual, they need to watch it. Some people are more uh, uh, kinesthetic, they need to feel it. Some people just need to read it and understand it. And so the magazine is such a beautiful tool because what? You can read it and you can watch the DVD. And that's what he said, hey man, I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna watch the DVD tonight. I'm like, perfect. Okay, and so that's what we really do here. But you have to pique interest, and then you have to use that third party tool. And again, you don't want to be the tool, you want to give out the third party tool. Okay, and so in the restaurant business, I knew nothing about skincare. So it was very easy for me to say, hey, listen, I'm brand new. I don't know much about skincare, but I think this product is really effective. Look what it did for my skin. Look what it did for some of my customers. You know, if I got you this product, would you try it? If I got you a sample bottle that I might have at home, would you try it? And that's all we do is we peak interest, give them a third party tool, follow this, uh, set up a follow up, and we put them through that cycle. On average, it's five to seven touches. It's five to seven exposures. And in that process, again, you know, I know today that unfortunately, all of us in this room are only gonna retain about 20% of the information. Four hours later, you're gonna have about 10% of this information. Okay, and so that's why we try to verbally talk to you and emotionally stir you up so you can grasp a little bit more of it. But that's why a brand partner or a prospect takes five to seven exposures. They haven't seen it all yet. They have other things on their mind. Okay, so just realize that this is a system, it is a process, and if you do it right, it works every single time. You know, as I'm experiencing more and more about Nerium, I'm just much more harsh, I'm much more strict about that system, especially now that we're going overseas. And I realized that when I went to Canada, to Vancouver and Toronto, that these people have such an opportunity in front of them because they have America below them, and Canada above them, and now soon to be Mexico, but they have got to know it right now. They need to know the system right now. We have a, we have a new start on a new country every single time. We're gonna teach them the system the right way so when it runs away from us in another language, it duplicates. That's what I'm finding out in the Mexico group is that I can't speak to them. I'm not that effective with them. So I have to teach, I had to teach a few leaders how to really, really get the system and really, really get it. Because when that border opens up, they're gone. They're gone, it's the wild, wild west. Okay? So we want them to know the system. So for all of us here, that's not a derogatory of weight at all. This is a gorgeous country. But it is true. I can't speak to them, so I have to teach the ones now in America how to do it in Mexico so it duplicates. So this is our system of success. Peak interest. Use a third-party tool to get yourself out of the way 
Set a follow-up. Get them on the phone with somebody else. And this works every single time. You're getting two points for this. Yeah, so for me, as you go through the, the learn knowledge and then the activity knowledge, you're going to get better at it, guys. I mean, when I first got started, once I actually learned that selling people into the business didn't work and I started following the system, I, I kind of started refining my skills because at the end of the day, any type of business does take skills to become good at it. So I became a student. Um, at first, maybe not the best student, but I, I was coachable and I wanted to learn and I wanted to learn the right way. So what has really worked for me in recruiting was on using my third party tools was getting, getting at least an, a, a commitment or a time that they would look at the information. So it would be um, Braxton. Tonight, uh, what do you have going on tonight at seven o'clock? Can you look at this email? You know, this video I'm going to shoot up to you. Well, no, Drew has cheer practice, but I should be home around nine. Okay, so you've got a time commitment from them to look at the information. It's not going to happen perfect every time that way, but at least try to get a time from them that they will look at the information, because it will transition right into a follow-up time. Okay. So if you've got them committed to looking at it at nine when they get home from Drew's practice, they know that's what they're supposed to do because you're letting them know that you will be following up with them after that time. So mentally, it locks them into looking at the information. You're not trying to trick them. You just know that life is in the way constantly. This is not on their radar yet, and you want to get it there. Okay? So getting commitment from them on a time has always been what has worked for me. Um, how many people have sent a video and nobody looked at it? <laughs> me, like eight. because I didn't properly expose them. I wasn't getting the job done. But when I started getting a commitment from them to look at it, to get it permission to, to expose them, uh, it started working a lot better. On peaking interest, and then we can move to the next slide, but what, I get asked a lot, um, well, what do you say? What works for you? What are you doing? Well, I can promise you I didn't go into the 10th degree of the 11th power of the ingredients of the product because I didn't get that. I simply was taught to ask, just like Patty just taught us, do you keep your income options open? I was taught to say things along the lines that didn't include throwing up Nerium on them. A lot of times I don't mention even skincare or Nerium. I'm looking for what piques their interest, and that is, man, if I'm at a restaurant, and I, like we were just in Mexico, and there was a super sharp, uh, well-dressed guy that was, and my wife looked over at me, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to talk to this guy. I was like, hey, man, how long have you worked here? Right, Aaron? He's like, been here a long time. And I was like, wow, you must really love your job. I just really love what you do. You know, he's like, good question. It pays the bills. I knew that my next question was going to be an answer of yes. Wow. I mean, it just, it just pays the bills. I mean, you do so good at it. Let me ask you something. You keep your income options open. And I just sat back in my chair and looked at it. Like, well, well, yeah, what do you got? So those are the kinds of things that we do to show people um, peak interest, to get the information to them. You know, I mean, it kind, of, it kind of finished up that we ended up having our dinner. I got his information, sent something to him, but I scheduled a follow-up with him immediately. So the following day, I did meet up with him, and, uh, it, you know, I'm an LOI. So he came, he's coming yeah. out of business. He's going to be my, my Mexico guy. But it was all because he was open to the opportunity that he was setting up for so. Perfect examples. You know, so hopefully you're kind of taking some of these, writing some of these down. So when you're out in the field, you know what to say. That's usually why we stop. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to say. We've never done it. We're kind of worried about it, but just like anything new that you start to do, you're not going to be good at it the first day. You know, that first time you went on a date, the first time you asked somebody out, you know, we were mid, I, I assume you're pretty bad at it. So just like in this business, you know, you're gonna, your worst day is your first day. As you develop, as you grow, it goes better. So here's, here's a pretty simple thing to understand, but I see it every single time in the field. You have to label your tools. You want to make them sticky. My brother left a magazine um, at, a, at an office, doctor's office the other day in my hometown. And, and, this, and this younger guy, uh, Matthew, called him and said, hey man, I saw your magazine, what's this about? Okay, and so not a very effective exposure just by leaving a magazine somewhere, but if it's labeled, at least they can come back to you. So you wanna have your name, your phone number, your website address, hopefully your capture page, which I'll talk about in the next slide. But you wanna have that stuff on there so they can find you. Um, if you have a big, uh, if, if any of you see my magazines, you know, um, I have a big label, okay, it says free copy on it. So if I do leave it in an airport, if I do leave it at a doctor's office or a coffee shop, maybe someone picks it up, maybe they don't. I also have my photo on there, so people know what I, um, who I am or what I look like, so they, they may not be nervous uh, to call or whatnot. So just a, just a couple little things on there, but have fun with it. Label your tools, two points for this. So 
lead us right into the capture page we talked about. It's just another one of those tools that helps us build our business. So what's neat about this is that this is the, the website, if you have Miriam Edge, you want to have this website on your business card. You want to have this website on your tools because this is a capture page. What is a capture page? Well, you go to the information and you go to the website, you see a little two minute teaser. It's like a, it's like a movie trailer that you see for a blockbuster movie. And then if they want more information, they have to enter their info. So we know the person went to the website. We know they entered their information. And if they put in their proper information, email, phone number, they're going to get a drip campaign. Every couple of days, they're going to get an email with a new video sent to them on behalf of Miriam, on behalf of the Miriam Communication Center. That's not us doing it. And so again, we're just sorting people. We're having something follow up with them automatically. It's a very beautiful system. If you want to have a capture page by yourself, and Miriam didn't provide this for you, depending on how elaborate you want, especially with the drip campaign and emails, it be 100,000 plus for you to set this up. Ask any business owner of that. We'll tell you that. So that's what we really have. The capture pages are big. So some of us uh, are scared. You know, I don't always ask for the phone number. I don't always ask for the email. Sometimes I get scared too. And so what's neat about the capture page, if they go to that, is that they have to put their information in there. And just one quick tip I, I say on this is that, listen, this information comes to me. You know, it doesn't go to the company. It, it's, it's in my back office. You know, you're not, I'm the only one that gets your information. We don't sell your information. And some people are worried about that. Really no need to be. Okay, so just kind of share that with them. Hey, this is, this is one of the websites we get as our company. Um, I, I'm kind of trying to hurry up a little bit as, as uh, we spend a lot of time on the main subjects here. But um, this is what it's all about. You want to hit this? Yeah, so power of duplication. That's why I got involved with this type of business and, and fell in love with this type of business. Power of duplication, residual income. So it really started out with Jeff teaching us how to do our two a days. Okay, easy to do, easy not to do, right? Some days it's easier not to do, but if we will stay plugged into that two a day system, here's what's going to happen. The power of duplication is going to start to happen. Because anybody, would everybody agree that anybody and everybody can do that? Two people a day? So that's easy to teach, right? It's easy to get somebody that comes into your business to do the same thing, right? So he really is a visionary and, and knows what works in this business. So just please understand that I know it may sound too simple to do, but the reason it's so simple to do is because it's easy to duplicate. It's very simple to duplicate. So, you know, fire duplication, you get started with your two, you know, two, two a day, that's going to duplicate into how many? Ten a week. That's just you doing it yourself. That's not even the power of duplication yet. That's just you doing 40 a month. So now you start building a team. Now you've got some people underneath you. They're wanting to know what to do, and you're teaching them the exact same process. Ten pages of a good book a day. Watch that. Expose two people a day. You know, we've showed you how to, to expose. We, we've showed you how to do it. Just do it a day. I know you've got 10,000. Are you guys kind of starting to get now that when I said earlier that this business, this system is really designed for, for part-time spare time, I kind of got some funny looks. This is why, guys. I mean, this is why the system really is designed to be just kind of like the capture page. I mean, how easy is that to be doing that in a grocery store? And I know we got to keep going. Uh, team of 10. I mean, look at how many, and I don't have to read down through the numbers with you. If you can just click to the next one, it's really going to start letting you see how fast this thing's going to start taking off for you if you're getting that duplication layered down through your organization. And just really quick, it's kind of like a, a commercial that you see all the time. It's space for position. So as you develop this, as you start doing this, because it does start with you, you're getting out your two exposures five days a week. Take two days off if you wish. That's 40 a month. Can you teach another team how to do that? The answer is yes. Are you giving out your exposures? Eventually, you'll have a team of 10 that will eventually do your two exposures. So now you have 400 exposures, 400 commercials going on on your behalf, on your business's behalf, every single month. You do that one more time. A team of just 30 people doing two exposures a day is 60 commercials going on in your business, 300 a week happening, and over 1,200 a month happening. This for a solid year, over 15,000 exposures are going to go on your benefit. Think about that really quick. Just if you go back, if you go back one slide, out of, out of, if, if, if we talked to 40 people a month, had them in that process, five to seven exposures, let's just say Jim Rowe, the, 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 the art of ratios. If you got one out of 10, how many would you get in this first example? You would, you would recruit four, maybe four customers, whatever you're focusing on. The next month, 400 people getting exposed. That's 40 new recruits, 40 new customers a month. That's a lot. If you're doing that, you're probably regional market director, very close to national market director. Go to the next one, 1,200 a month going on your behalf. 
was that 120 recruits a month? You're absolutely a national market director in your business if that is happening. So what are you still doing? You're still doing two a day. You've taught a team of 30 to do two a day, which gives you 1,200 a month, 15,000 a year. That's how you build. That's how we build this business on a part-time basis. It's about us developing ourselves, cultivating an organization and a team, and teaching them that system. So the numbers are in our favor. We just have to get more numbers. So for leaders in the room, all of us actually in this room are leaders. For all of us that went through uh, a year with us, think about it. Why do we have more activity before an event and after a big event? Because there's more people being talked to. There's more people sharing the magazine, more people sharing the product. There's just more activity going on in your business. Of course your business is going to take off. It's just the numbers. The numbers are in our favor. And so this is going away. So Miriam Blitz is every single Wednesday. Um, and what's neat about it is that you can actually call into this number from 9 to 9 and have someone listen to just a 20 to 25 minute conference call on why Miriam, why the product, why the opportunity, why now. And so you get two points for this. Please write down this number. And this actual number gets texted to you in your, your, uh, your uh, text blast. But write down that number every single Wednesday. And what these do for you, it's a progressive blitz. If you get someone on the 9 o'clock call and they, and they like what they hear, they're bound to get a friend or two on the 10 o'clock call, or the 11 o'clock call, or the 12 o'clock call. So here's how I set this up. Um, and I, gotta go, gotta go, good job. So I always just say, hey, uh, ring, ring, hey Lance, hey man, it's Patty, hey, I'm running out of work, I'm running into the gym, I'm running into the office, I'm going to pick up the kids, I'm doing this, I'm setting a time so I can get off of the phone. Okay, that's why we do that, we have to get off the phone. And so Lance, hey man, I'm running out the door, but I thought of you. What are you doing at the top of the hour? That's what I say. You get the top of the hour. I'm working. I'm on my lunch break. I'm picking up whatever. Great. Listen, man, grab a pen. G A P. Grab a pen. Write down this number 712 432 5478. What is it? It's going to be the next question. Lance, do you remember how you were telling me how you and Megan just wanted to be able to just make some extra income to pay for the kids' extracurricular activities? Yeah, man, why? Well, hey, listen, I think I found a way. I think we found a way. Not sure if this is for you, but check that out. Do you have the number again? 712-432-5478? Great. Listen to that call at the top of the hour. I'll call you uh, 30 minutes past the hour. Sound good? Sounds good. Click. I mean, of course it's not going it, to... It can work that way. It really, really can. If you build the urgency on the front end and do it, that's how you put people on a phone call like this. You're gapping them. Grab a pen, and they do it every single time. So you want to cover... Yep. Yeah? Yeah, so the, it's really going to be the exact same thing on the yet recruiting bliss goals. Yes, this is the fastest growing segment of our business right now, of our company. I mean, kids are really realizing that they don't have to go through uh, what we went through coming up as far as trying to figure out what they're going to do when they graduate college. So they are open to opportunity because they're hearing it from their friends who have graduated college, and some uh, were, were able to, to go on and move right into careers, but many weren't. So their ears, their radar dishes are a little bit more open now than they were. So it's going to be the exact same thing every Wednesday for, uh, for the for the Apple. And this is a huge segment of our, of our business right now. And actually, we changed the age group from 18 to 29. And we had, we had some people that uh, still fit in that category. I still consider myself being an entrepreneur at heart. You know, and so all of us in this room are, if this is our first business opportunity, we're still young entrepreneurs. This is a big, big segment. You know, Generation Y is a different world. How many waiters and waitresses have you had, have you had that are in this demographic? They're awful at what they do. Why? Because they're not very good at building communication skills. They're not very good at, uh, this is true, they're not good at personal development. They're not good at people skills yet, because they're so dialed into that phone. So this program mentors people how to go out there and have success. That's what Generation Y is looking for. They saw their parents work eight to faint. They saw their parents work for a job that they didn't like, a boss that didn't like them for money that they didn't really appreciate, they didn't really get them by. So Generation Y is waking up to the world of reality that you can build something from home, from your dorm room, from your bed if you need to. And we have stories of people that were bed because of, of issues that built a business of success. So take advantage of the YEP program. Everyone that's young knows everyone that's a little bit more mature and older. Everyone that's more mature and older knows people that are young. How many college kids do you know right now that are out of work? Maybe that's a question you can ask. Hey man, what are you doing? Going to school? Awesome, what are you studying? Oh, cool, cool. So what do you do after that? Are you gonna use your degree to get a job? Oh, maybe. I mean, I hear that all the time. What's, what's your degree in? Uh, in? Creative writing. Oh, okay, cool. What, what do you use that for? I don't know, it's just an easy subject. 
Thank you from the bottom of my heart for welcoming me to your community. Look forward to meeting each and every one of you, getting to know you a little bit better, forming relationships, but most of all, have a lot of fun building a big business. Thank you very much. Went to Cabo, wow, 
went to Cancun with Patty and a lot of people in the room. And my life has been changed forever. And why? Because of what I just said. We have an exclusive product that works. We, we just, they talked a lot about, you know, just prospecting and just sharing it with people. This is the easiest thing ever. Um, I grew up, I guess, I, now I say I'm really lucky that I grew up, that lots of personal development in my house. Every morning was Napoleon Hill, um, Tony Robbins, Ogmandino, and I'd be like, oh my God, Dad, turn that down, it's so loud. And that guy's voice is so like powerful. It was Tony Robbins, now he's like my idol, I love him. And actually, when I was 17, my mom took me to a fire walk in L.A., and it completely changed my life. So, I'm backing up just a little bit. The personal development that we have here with Narium is top-notch. It's so important. It will change your life. Because when I was 17, I didn't know that it was setting a foundation for where I am today. And it truly has changed my life. And I know that everything is put in our path for a reason. And Miriam was dropped in my lap because of the personal development, all, the, all of you amazing people. Um, it's an amazing product. It makes me look younger, which I like that. Um, and so I just started sharing it with everybody that I knew. And I just started telling them all about it. Try this bottle. Well, what is it? And y'all were laughing about saying Nexium. That was me. I was calling it Nexium. I go, I don't know, it's this Nexium stuff, and blah, and they're like, and I threw up on many, many people, probably some of you here, but Lance knows, I don't know where he went, but yeah, he knows, I would call him and go, oh my God, well, he's like, Aaron, calm down, you are like way out of control, so anyway, it was just fun, um, I just, I, I'm really big on three-way calls, does any, who here really utilizes three-way calls? Awesome. So happy. Um, Three-way calls are so important because it gets you out of the way. And what you want to do is you want to edify the person. We just did a three-way call, and I'm just going to give you a little scenario of how it went. Um, a girl called me and said, I have a pro Basically, I tell my people, get them interested. Give them a tool, a bottle, a video, a magazine, whatever, you know, like Patty said, whatever you want to do. Um, just give them the tool, and then once they're, then when you follow back up with them, say, oh my gosh, my friend Erin, she has an amazing story, I just want you to hear this story. Don't say, I want Erin to tell you why you need to do this. You know what I mean? She, so basically, I get on the phone, I was just like, hey, how are you? We were both hairstylists. Um, I just said, oh my gosh, what, what have you seen? She had seen the video. And I'm like, okay, I kind of get to know them a little bit first, talk about what's going on in their life, and then basically I just said, you know what, this is how it needs to be done. You need, I mean, we all in this business, we have, I mean, this is our golden ticket right here. And I just kind of start telling her my story, how my life, how it has changed my life and changed so many people's lives. And she is coming on, I think, Sunday. And so we just do these, and it helps, because people here, want to, they want to hear someone else. You're my friend, you know what I mean? You already know I'm going to tell you whatever I want to tell you to get you into the business. But if I pull Patty in, Patty's the expert, and I'm going to say, Patty's amazing, he has so much passion, he's fired up about this business, he's a total rock star, right? And here we are. And so they're looking at him. They don't know him. And they're going, okay, well, she's telling me he's this, he's that, he's whatever, he's amazing. So in their mind, he's up here. And they're like, wow, he's telling me how great this is too. Okay, that's two people telling me how amazing this is. I think I better jump on, right? So that's, I mean, it's so, so easy. It is the easiest thing you'll ever do. Um... And you kind of talked about, you already kind of talked about how to do it and... A little bit. You know, so it, here's, here's how I see this working. So for all of us that are kind of scared, Aaron had a huge nugget. I would love for you to hear my friend Aaron's story. You have to hear this girl's story. You have to hear this person's story. 
and then you edify them, and then you get them on the phone. But how you want to visually see this, and I know I was talking to Tony the other day, who's a personal trainer, who has that background. It's kind of like that. It's like you're going to the gym, having a personal trainer, or having a workout partner that spots you. Okay, so in this business, if you have a personal trainer, your upline, your expert, they're going to tell you what to eat. Or in, in the world of working out, they would tell you what to eat, what to lift, how many times to lift it, when to lift it, how to lift it. They would tell you, you know, uh, all the things that you're supposed to do and rest and all that whatnot. If you're on the bench press and you're, you're struggling to get that weight up, your expert, your personal trainer is going to help you. They're going to spot you. They're going to lift it with you. But here's what the personal trainer will not do for you. They cannot wake you up. They cannot get you into the gym. They cannot lift the weight for you, but they can spot you. So in this business, three-way call expert, it's like them lifting the weight, them running on the treadmill, them doing all the work, you getting fit, you getting in shape, you getting exercise. Does that sound like a good deal? That's how it happens. I remember my mother. It was very difficult for me to get my mom to, uh, to engage in three-way calls because she didn't understand the transition. She didn't... And in corporate America, we're taught, or in the world of business, we're taught, we have to know the answer now. And if we don't know that answer, we're not good enough. You know, they'll replace us, they'll, hide, they'll, they'll, they'll lay us off, they'll do whatever. And so in this business, we come in here thinking, we have to know everything. I have to know everything about the science. I have to know everything about the product. No, you don't. Yeah, someone else can do that for you while you're learning. You can start earning income here while you're learning the business. So the, the prospect, or the, the, the three-way, it takes the pressure off of you and puts it onto someone else. I promise you, the only way you'll ever get good at doing a three-way call is by putting, by doing three-way calls. You hear what your expert is saying. You hear what your upline is saying. You hear how they deliver the message. You hear how they overcome an objection. That's how we learn this business. Three-way calls are for so many other reasons that you see on the screen. They're for welcome calls. They're for promoting people um, uh, uh, to a live event like like, uh, like Long Beach. You know, my friend Don Wilkinson, who's a, a two-star uh, top income earners, he, does, he still to this day does more three-way calls with me than anyone on the team. Uh, he makes over 40 grand a month. Still does three-way calls. Why? Because they work. Because he can go do whatever. <laughs> he's always doing something too when he's on a three-way. So I'm working for him. I'm lifting the weight. And he's getting fit. So that's how you kind of want to understand the relationship of this. But again, the perfect point there was you have to hear my friend's story. You have to hear what they've been able to accomplish. Oh my goodness, you have to hear this. Maybe you're following up with someone that loves the product. They had tremendous results. You can say, oh my goodness, can you tell that story to my friend, Aaron? That's how you get a prospect on the phone with somebody else. Can you tell me, can you tell that success story of what happened to your skin, your discoloration, your wrinkles, or whatever, to my friend, Mary, to my friend, Susan, to my friend, Belinda? I mean, that's all we do. We share information. And so this is kind of how it works. You have you, the, the, the brand partner, who has a prospect who you're three-way into an expert. And the expert does not have to be a national marketing director. I use directors, senior directors, executive directors all the time. Why? So I can hear what they're saying. It's my opportunity to coach my team. It's my opportunity to build leadership. And so it's not just for the NMD to do all this. You need to do some extra work on the side and then have the NMD maybe close the person or confirm the person. That's what I like to say. Okay, and so three-way calls, again, are magnificent and they absolutely work every time. Every time. And if the person doesn't get started, it sorts them out. You know, some people say, well, the magazine doesn't work, the DVD doesn't work, the website doesn't work. Well, why doesn't it work? Well, they didn't say yes. Well, they said not now or no, right? Well, yeah. Okay, well, the tool sorted them out. It did work. It just didn't get them in the business. And so the tool is there to help us. It's to sort people into the business or out of the business. The three-way calls are everything. You're getting two points for this. And so here's kind of how, how you do this. And, and Aaron, you want to Verify, verify the tool. Um, also, make sure you mute your phone. Eat, eat a Big Mac, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Just mute your phone because when we're talking about how, you know, what an amazing opportunity this is, what an amazing product this is, when you're, and then you jump in and say something, it really kind of messes us up. It messes up the whole game. So really mute your phone. Just listen and learn. And like Patty said, we learn still. I mean, it doesn't matter what level you're at, you're going to learn something. I learn something in every event I go to from every one of you. So, it's amazing. It is amazing. And that's, that's, that's where the challenge happens. That's where the growth happens in our life. And I'll just cover this real quick, that transition into the call with the expert. What does that mean by mirror match? If the person says, I want to, um, hey, what'd you like best? Because we don't say, hey, what'd you think? Because they could say, you know, 
well, I didn't, I didn't like the girl that, you know, talked about it. She didn't really, you know, I don't know. I didn't, the colors were wrong, the music sucked, whatever. <laughs> so, hey, what did you like best? Well, I like the product. I feel, I feel you. I, I love the product, too. I absolutely understand that. And so you want to kind of mirror match what someone tells you, if, if it's true. Okay, again, you can be yourself. You can be real. You can be genuine. But you want to mirror match the other person's excitement. If they like the car, talk about the car. If they like the science, talk about the science. If they like the culture and how we're developing and how we're helping uh, contribute to other organizations like Good Brothers or Success for Teens, talk about that. You mirror match your person's excitement. Some people want to know about the science. Some people want to know about the money. Some people want to know about the products. Some people want to know about the growth and the contribution. So you just mirror match what they do and you develop it. So that kind of leads right into the live events which we're at right now. So for all of us in the room here today, we're getting three points. So again, these numbers are going up higher and higher. How? Why? Because these are the activity points. So we went from the learn knowledge, reading the emails, listening to the calls, one point, one point, one point, and then two points for prospecting and promoting, but now into the three points for being at the events. And so a lot of us in this, in this room, we come in at different cycles of our life, different stages of our life, and the theory of business kind of looks like a puzzle that hasn't been put together yet. Okay, so how this builds, how this works, is that real results parties build a market party like we had in the next set, like where that has um, Staley Farms or something? It's a, it's Eagle's Nest. Eagle's Nest, that sounds cool. Uh, or, or we have, you know, Bass Pro Independence out uh, Blue Springs in the Penn area with Susan. Real results parties build the market party. The market parties build this regional, okay? And the regionals build the bash. The regionals build the big events. And we need these events to help us and support us. I've always said that technology, the capture pages, the third party tools, allow people to come into our business, but the events keep people in the business. You heard Lance and Aaron talk about the relationships that are formed here. This is where it really hits. This is where the rubber meets the road. So as you're looking at this, you, it says it up there, we're in the presentation, uh, discover the big, I never looked at the slides, sorry. So, you know, that, that's kind of what it is, but you want to check your calendars. You know, you want to follow your leaders. If you know people that are in Florida, or Southern California, or Arizona, or wherever you, you know, uh, St. Louis, or Chicago, Look at the calendar and see who's there and get people to these events. Use a three-way call to promote these events. But this is how this works, we're getting three points. Do you have anything to say about the event system? Um, I will tell, I want to tell a great story. I always have a great story. <laughs> um, when I first started, this is how I met Lance, too. Lance and I have become the best of friends, and I feel like he's my brother, honestly. Um, I joined, remember, I knew nothing. I. I knew nothing, I was nothing, I was just Aaron, hairstylist forever. And um, I joined and I called my upline, Kimmy, who lives out in Denver, and I said, I joined and I'm excited because my mom and her, that's how I, we got started through her. And she's like, well, what's, what are you going to do now, you know, and started telling me some things that I needed to look, a game plan actually. And I said, well, there's a regional coming up next, or this weekend. But I don't know, we have my husband's class reunion next weekend. I have a float trip. She's like, wait a minute. You have a regional in Kansas City this weekend. I'm like, yeah, but I, we have a class reunion. She's like, Erin, you need to get to, she's very blunt. She's like, you need to get to that regional. I don't care what you do. You tell your husband you can't go. So I go to my husband. I'm like, well, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm going to the regional. I listen. I'm very coachable. I basically made a sacrifice, you know. I went to him. I said, I feel, I feel this. There's something about this that I need to be there. I mean, this biz I knew nothing about this business, and I knew this was going to be a game changer for me. And so I went to that regional. I met Megan and Lance. And you guys, my fire went from 100 to 100,000. I mean, I was insane, crazy on fire. And I learned so much. It was Dennis Windsor that taught the regional. So these events are so, so important. I mean, it really did. I don't know if I would be where I am today if I hadn't gone to that regional that first weekend. And if you don't have a regional, get to a market party. Have your real results party. Get your real results parties booked, like, right away. Because if the people don't book it, and you have to tell them what to do. You know what I mean? We have to say, let's get your party book. Don't worry about it. I'm going to help you. If they live in, I have a team in California, I Skype into their parties. I'm like, all you do is push play, get out of the way, let me talk, 
And I'm like, hi everybody, I'm from Kansas. They're like, awesome, you know, it's just fun. I mean, it's 15 minutes of my time. We all have a blast. They're signing people up like crazy. We're all just living happy. <laughs> so anyway, these are just so, so important. I mean, I can't, I always, I can't tell you enough how important it is to get your people to market parties, to, you know, and the summer has been a little slower, I know for us in Kansas, and, but they're starting to build back up and it's exciting. And that's when it gets fun. That's when we all want to, we all want to be there. We're like, oh my gosh. And you're going to have days. I had a kid come to our party. Uh, we had a little party on Thursday. He's like, I'm going to be honest, Aaron. I was really, you know, just tired. He's 18. He's a yepper. He's the cutest thing ever. And he overslept today, but that's okay. Um, and he says, I'm going to tell you, Aaron. I don't know, I, I almost didn't come, but man, am I glad I came. And you know what? Then he came the next week, and then he was supposed to be here today. So when I get out of here, I'm going to call him, where were you? <laughs> so, but he's just fun, and it, if you make it fun, it's fun. It's not work. To me, this is not work at all. And can I bring up something that, yeah. um, this, is, this is amazing. And the person in here, there's a couple of them, they're in here, so... I just want to say this. This is something that has really touched my heart. Is we had like we did Q and A at our little market party, and one of the girls said, "How do I how do I connect into maybe my aunt who I haven't talked to in five years?" But I don't want to seem pushy. I don't want to you know I don't want to be like, well, I know I haven't talked to you in five years, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I have this business that I'm I'm pushing on you. And I'm like, you know what? I look at it totally different. You can't, I mean, you, you're you losing out if you don't tell her because it's a gift. We have a gift to offer these people. So me, I would say everybody in this room, including myself, let's go back through our phone, our phone call list, contact list. Go back through Facebook. Go back through all of every everything where you have friends. Whether it's your your um, school directory or whatever, go back through. And if you haven't told all the people that you need to tell, tell them. Because I'm like, this is your aunt. You haven't told her it's been a year. And she's like, well, I don't want to be pushy. And I'm like, pushy. I mean, if if somebody wouldn't have told me this, and I would have, you know, just got started, I would have wished somebody would have told. I wish somebody told me 20 days into it. Don't you all? So, I mean, we have a true gift here to share with people. Let's share it with everybody we know. And I know, I know I have people that I haven't told. Or like Patty said, people that we have, you know, that maybe you told them, I've been in this for two years. Maybe I told them the first week. And they were like, no, you're insane. Whatever. What are you thinking? Well, that was, to me, no does not hurt my feelings. No means not right now doesn't mean never it means not right now so i that was just something that i it was a huge nugget and i went home and i actually talked to kimmy about it and i'm like man i just feel so differently about it i wish people didn't feel like they were being pushy because it's not pushy you're i mean this has changed my life this has changed a lot of your lives right so wouldn't you like to change your aunt's life or your best friend's life or your sister's life or whoever, your teacher's life, you know what I mean? So just that was just a little thing I wanted to throw out there because it was something that it meant a lot to me. So I got off track. Sorry. No, but, you know, those are huge points, you know, and that's why you're picking up a little bit here and there. I mean, two things that I just heard from her was sacrifice. She sacrificed being at her first events. We all here today probably had to sacrifice, maybe getting a babysitter, maybe leaving work, maybe calling in slick be calling off whatever it is you had to sacrifice to be here and it's worth it everything we've ever done in our life we've had to sacrifice something and in this business it's a small small price to pay small sacrifices for some big big life-changing events and that's what happens these are ripples in people's lives so that sacrifice and then again just talking to people I mean, you can tell from Erin she just has fun with it she's just being herself with it she's just exposing a great great exclusive product with her friends and family She's sharing a business with them. I mean, that's really all we do at the end of the day is say, here, try this, check this out, look at this, come to this. And it, at times, it's not for everybody. It's, it's a season in their life. Maybe they're just not ready. But we've all experienced that every 30, 60, 90 days, something in someone's world changes. New promotion at work, maybe a layoff at work, 
maybe a new addition to the family, maybe a passing of a family member. Whatever it is, we're always looking, we're always changing. I know we have a team that, uh, you know, this was their plan B or C, but maybe someone got laid off at the job, and now it's their plan A, and they have to make this work. And it will work, but it does take sacrifice, it does take time. But what you're seeing here today is that we have that system for you about there to build on a part-time basis, and it really does start with that fast start game plan and getting you off to a fast start. Okay, and really what that looks like is there's always two days of uh, start dates. Okay, there's the day that we made the decision to get started, we made that investment to get started, and then there's the day that we actually make the decision to get to work, to go into action, and it always happens. You know, if you've been in this business for a year and you haven't done, you have, you aren't where you're at yet. Give it a 90-day consistent run of activity of building the business, signing up customers, and recruiting people. Right now, I'm, look, I mean, my goal between now and long which is to recruit five brand new people. What could an additional five people in your book of business right now do for you that's personally sponsored? Where could you place them? What leg could you place them in to help you build? You know, it's all about work activity. It's about just sharing, sharing the deal. So the new brand partner training just allows you to go out there and know that you have support, you have a workout partner, that you have a personal trainer there to lift the weight for you. And so oh, a game plan interview is really nothing more than building a relationship with the person um, if you don't know them well enough. Or if you do know them, your best friend, have someone else help you with a little bit. But this is kind of where you figure out what they're looking for. You see, when I was looking at this business, I was looking to eventually get out of my job. You know, but some people are coming in this business just to make an extra couple hundred dollars a month, just to get their product for free. So asking them, hey, what are you running for this month? Hey, what are you looking for this month? What does, uh, where does Miriam fit into your life this month? You know, and they say, listen, I need to make some money. I want to make a couple thousand by Christmas. Okay, great. So what that looks like is us getting you fast start qualified, getting you to the director position, getting you to senior director. That will generate a few thousand dollars between now and Christmas. Okay, so you want to ask them what they're doing. What is their why? Why are they doing this? And spending some time, slowing down to speed up to figure this out is important. You know, if the person says, I need to make 10 grand between now and next year, we need to push them a little bit harder. We need to bump that two a day up to about 10 a day. Okay, we need to get going. And so we don't want to overwhelm people, so we want to find out where they are. And then just by having 10 in play, what does that mean? You have 10 people somewhere in the pipeline, somewhere in the system, somewhere in the wheel of prospecting. Maybe they're on their second uh, video, maybe they've been to a few parties where they're trying the product, maybe they're reading the magazine. You have somewhere in there 10 in play. So when one falls off, one becomes a brand partner customer, you're adding another one to that 10 in play scenario. And that's what we're really doing here. And then we're going to be booking the RRP, the Real Results Party. And guys, it's very simple to do. It really is. I remember my first Real Results Party, I was renting a condo from a 72-year-old lady in Arizona. Okay, that, that, was my, that was my landlord. So I didn't know that many people. So I called over a few buddies, my, a few regulars at my restaurant, and said, hey guys, I'm ordering a pizza, I picked up some, some beer. Uh, come over, i got to show you something. That's all I said. It wasn't an elaborate party. I mean, it was, it was a guy's party, man. I mean, how many of us in the room had a barbecue? I've had a bar mitzvah, I've had a wedding, I've had a, I've had a baptism, you know, I've had, I've had a, a birthday party. If you can do that, if you can plan a wedding, you can plan an RV. It's not difficult. They're fun, they're simple. They are, okay? And so we're going to talk about that in a second. Actually, Aaron's going to talk more, a little bit about that. But I look at a real results party as almost like guerrilla warfare. We're in the trenches. We're going from point A to point B. If you're only building in your market party system, you're, that's a great activity. That's once a week. That's building your business 52 days a year. Versus if you have a real results party every single couple days or your team is having parties and you're dialing into 15 minutes, that is how you build a business. That's how you can build quickly is by having real results parties. They're quick and on the fly. I and mean, you can literally have one. Of I, I talked to a lady the other day who, uh, who, who, who was kind of turned over to me because her sponsor wasn't helping her as much. And so I said, all right, let's get you restarted again. In two hours, she had seven people at her team at her house to redo the game plan interview. I mean, it doesn't take that much if you just have some excitement and urgency and have some fun. Hey, come over, pop in a bottle of champagne or some, some wine, we're gonna have some cheese and crackers. I gotta show you this. You know, you gotta check this thing out. Come over, leave your credit card at home. And you can say that type of stuff. We're just looking to educate, inspire, not to sell. So the Fast Start Game Plan is really about getting you introduced to our system, getting you in the rhythm and finding out what you're looking for. So that leads us right into our training parties. That's what Aaron was kind of talking about. So you want to cover this a little bit? Yeah, we just had a Miriam University party at my house on Tuesday, just because Monday was Labor Day. It was a blast, was it? Was it, guys? Anybody? <laughs> so we had so much fun. We just 
invite, I invited everybody over. I'm not like, okay, wear your suit and tie. Come on over. We're going to get serious about this business here. I'm like, hey, who wants to go on a cruise? Woo, me, me. You know, I'm like, well, come over. It's going to be the biggest train, one of the biggest trainings ever. It's Mark Smith talking about how we're going to get to the cruise. I just got home from Cancun, which they all knew this, but I keep telling them how amazing it was. And so they came over. We just had everybody brought a snack. It was simple. I just opened my home to my friends. You know what I mean? We had a blast. We had about 50 people there, 45, 50 people, something like that. It was, it was amazing. And my husband was like, wow, did you expect that many people? I'm like, I didn't know who was coming. But honestly, I would, I'd welcome you all to come over. <laughs> I mean, it was that much fun. And that's what it's about. Make it fun. Build the culture. Um, have, you know, that's what we have here is culture. The culture of Miriam is why I'm here. Big time. How about you all? I mean, there, there's something to say when we can all help each other and be friends. It's not like those other, those other companies where... I think, well, I don't know what they are. But anyway, this is amazing, and we all help each other, and we all are there for each other. And like we talked about, you know, three-way calls, I can call up anybody. And real result parties are fun. Same thing. They're super easy. And I know when you first start, you know, your people are going to be like, oh, my gosh, well, what do I do? I mean, what do I have to say? And, you know, it's so simple. You push play. You get out of the way. You same thing, bring in your experts, Skype them in, or maybe maybe if you live in my area, I'll be there. I promise you that. You know what I mean? And we're, we do coffee and crow's feet. We do um, wine and wrinkles. Tanya's getting ready to do a death by chocolate. I will be there at that party because <laughs> I'm a chocolate girl. And so just make it fun. Invite your friends over like Patty said. It doesn't have to be, you know, it's beer and pizza for guys. So... And Danny Gassidy, his story's great. What do you have, water and bread? <laughs> Stuff like that. So, yeah. So, it's simple. It's really easy. Um, invite friends. Play the Nerium Experience video. It's like a 15, 16-minute video. And I can always sit in the back. And this is really funny because Tanya over there, I keep referring to her. I, I can always tell who's going to be interested in the business. That's just me and my energy and my passion thing. And I'm like, yep, she's in, she's in, she's not, she's not interested, she's on her phone. So it's okay, it's not for everybody. Just make it fun, have a blast. Um, the best part, sign up brand partners and preferred customers. And you know, I always say at the end, okay, you have three choices. You can either become a preferred customer, I'll help you get your three or free. If you would like to do that, we can have a party, or you can become a brand partner. Let's get you started today, and you can start making money, earn a free iPad, earn, drive a free Lexus, earn a $50,000 bonus, go to Cancun, the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> or um, you can go home, we still love you, and you know, it is what it is. So that's kind of how we do it, and that's, I mean, that is how simple it is. Schedule parties for your new brand partners, we kind of already talked about that. Just make sure within the first, I'd say first day or two, is what is what's the 72 hours? 72 hours okay 72 hours get them get their party scheduled just because you know they're thinking of so many things and don't talk about I mean I've had people that just sign up okay how do I get $50,000 bonus whoa, 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 whoa let's talk about getting you fast start qualified then we'll get you to the Lex or the iPad the Lexus you know follow the system do you can't you don't go to the top of the ladder down here and jump to the top, right? It does happen for some people, but most likely you need to follow the system. Do do it step by step, and everything will fall right into place. And use us to help you. So that's perfect, you know. And, and which you know, again, that the, the rung was on the ladder. You know, if, if the top of the ladder was the six-figure income, the fifty thousand dollar bonus, um, you have to step every single step of the way, and it's important. Okay, and the reason for that is because. Think about it right now. If you're brand new, we gave you $150,000 in volume tomorrow. You became a national market manager tomorrow. You had a few hundred people on your team tomorrow. Would you know how to handle them? Would you know how to develop them? Would you know how to influence them, inspire them, uh, uh, be there for them? So every step of the way, we get to learn. We get to experience. We get to grow. We 
get to attract better and better people onto our organizations and teams. We find the leaders that we're looking for. So every step, there's a reason for it. I remember when I was going through my journey, and I, I called Puya, uh, my, my good friend and sponsor, and said, man, you know, I don't know, I, I just, I can't get to that next level. I can't get to the next level. It's like, man, you, you haven't learned your lessons yet. You have to keep growing. You have to keep learning. And that hurt for a second, right? I'm like, you're right, man. You're absolutely right. Because at that time, I could barely host a call. I could barely get on the call. I could barely speak in front of a room. I was terrified to do the results. I was terrified to speak in front of a room. You know, and if that's you as well, that's okay. You can make a six-figure income by sitting where you are today. If you wish to get up here and do it, it kind of became a responsibility for me. I had to do it. You know, and so I'm very grateful that I, I had that opportunity as well. You have to learn every step of the way. Okay, and so that was kind of off the top of it. But here's the real results of that you're talking about. You covered it beautifully, and here's, here's some of the ones that we see. You know, the, the, the home party, and home party is the biggest one. You know, if you're, if, if, if for whatever reason you can't have it in your home, have it at a Starbucks, have it at a coffee shop, have it at a really cool little wine bar, back room. There's so many areas that you can do it in. Don Wilkinson, you know, was living with his mom and uh, sister and a few dogs and cats and whatever else. Couldn't have it at his place. So we had it at the coffee bean. Silver Fisher went up there, showed the video, talked the information, and did the deal. So we need to be solution-oriented in this business. We have to find solutions. <coughs> Jeff Wilson always talks about it. You get paid by the size of the problems that you can solve. And as a leader in this business, or as a leader in life, we have to become very good at solving challenges, not being the challenge. Okay, and so that requires some leadership ability, and that's what we get to develop here. But the in-home party is simple and easy. We talked about that. The three-year free party is more for your customers. And for those of you who uh, don't have the customers that want to have the parties, think of it this way. Miriam is a beauty secret. And if it is improving your life, it is helping your skin, you're competitive with your friends, some people don't want to share their beauty secret. And that's okay. But some people do. And that's where you have a three-year free party. Or that's where you encourage them or help them have their party. Here's just a quick tip on, on the extra bottles that you'll get through Miriam Goes Back. Maybe give that Miriam Goes Back bottle that you earned on your recent customer, give that bottle to them. And say, hey, go get this to some of your friends. Let's get you three year free. Okay, that's the power of nearing this back. That's the power of getting free inventory. So here's kind of our 40 points. We've kind of wrapped it up like this. The first 15 points are all about your time. Reading the email, jumping on the calls, listening to the webinars, doing the personal development. And that is the key. Every day I get, what's the secret? What's, what's the secret ingredient? It's personal development. It's developing yourself. It's building yourself. It's making yourself more alive, more passionate about whatever you're in for. And then the activity points is where the rubber meets the road. That's the real results parties. That's the product prospecting. That's this, that's that. And so that is the 40-point system. All of us in the room today, can we try, can we really start the <coughs> on trying to get eight points a day? Can we do that? Anyone? Can, can everyone do eight points? Okay, great. That's great. So um, right now we're actually going to, I, I know uh, this, this training's gone a little different, maybe, than you're all used to. Aaron, do you want to kind of close out with some closing remarks? We're going to take that. We'll do some recognition, and I'm going to come out at the end and kind of close everything up. So, some closing remarks from you, maybe uh, uh, I've gotten some great nuggets from you, but maybe some words of wisdom or kind of what you would be, what you would do between now and Long Beach. Okay. Days, Who, days. Who's going to Long Beach? Wow, you guys are awesome! Look at all those hands. Has everybody here been to an event like that? Okay, awesome. Well, you know that, what does it take to get there? We have to party, 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 right? Peak, par peak party, promote. <laughs> it peak, party, promote. Say it, peak, party, promote. Okay, that's what we're gonna do to get to Long Beach, too. We're gonna get people interested. We're gonna have parties. And you guys have, you're gonna like what comes out of this. It might take your Tuesday night, Thursday night, helping your friends get have the parties and get to parties and such but you're gonna like the end result because when you get to I will tell you I, in st. Louis I earned my $50,000 bonus it was the best day of my life honestly. And I, I was sitting there going oh my gosh this is so surreal to me and I kept crying and Kimmy's like Aaron, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm not a crier. I don't know what is going on. I'm just so, I'm so happy. But um, it's just, like I said, it has truly changed my life. And I would love to see all of you, any of you that want this can do this. Because anything we want, we can achieve. All you have to do is believe it and write it down. 
and it happens. I'm telling you, at my party, my husband brought out my dream board that I made like my first in my first week. I'm telling you guys, I was on fire. Fire. I was like hot fire. <laughs> and I made this dream board. And he brought it out. And every single thing on that dream board has come true. So it was, it was amazing. a gift here. Let's share it. Patty's amazing. He, we are so lucky to have people like this because you truly are a hero. Thank you, Erin, for sharing. And that was actually her first time doing a regional. So how good did she do? 